Motorsports Park for a street night. Um, no nitrous this time. Unfortunately, our HVAC system in our house completely failed, so that took precedent over getting the nitrous on the Mustang, unfortunately. But what I did do, I got a new cold air intake, three and a half inches from the inner fender all the way. And I tell you, man, the Bud Dyno, I can feel a difference. It's weird. I did not expect it to be really a difference, but, you know, I wanted to get a, a custom cold air intake because I didn't have the mass airflow in, anymore because the Terminator X. So, yeah, the Bud Dyno feels good. Uh, so, we'll see if that makes a difference. So, there is a little change from last time I was at the track. So, hopefully, we get through this line and through tech relatively quickly. Step but rolled out, slipped it a little bit, and I went at 12887 at 105.97. Uh, 60 foot was 178, so I upped the two step to 5000. Uh, the only thing I've done different this time is I put that uh, cold air intake on it. I don't want to just dump the clutch because I'm on a drag radio and I have like 28 spline axles and C clips and all that. I, I'm not trying to do that every time, you know, it's real fun.
I can't have the guy that owns my favorite car ever, or one of them. I think I'm that kind of guy. Thank goodness I did. I've never seen that many cars try to tack in. Um, so since I got there a little bit early, got to tack a little bit early, and I saw the line that was forming for tech, um, I made as many passes as I could back to back to back because um, I wasn't sure how the rest of the night was going to go. Uh, I prefer to make a pass, let it cool down a little bit, you know, make a pass, let it cool down, that sort of thing. But I basically hot lapped three passes in a row. I think I did three runs in 20 minutes <laughs> or something, something silly. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, the first run right out of the box, it went uh, 1288 at 105.97 um, with a 178 60 foot. Uh, so immediately an improvement uh, over last time. Uh, second pass went, which is the personal best, me in the car anyway, uh, went 1277 at 106.34. Uh, that's a 175 60 foot. Um, so what I did, you know, instead of just dumping the clutch, letting it go, I'm riding it out a little bit. Um, first pass, I left at 4,500 off the two step and then it did so well, I put it at 5,000. Um, and it did well again. Um, pretty happy with a 175 60 foot. Um, and yeah, 1277 at 106.34. Uh, third pass, back in the left lane, went 179, 60 foot, 1285 uh, at 106.17. But if you notice during the burnout, the left rear tire wasn't spinning the entire time. Uh, I think the track lock clutches are, are worn out. Um, I could feel it kind of grabbing and letting go, grabbing and letting go. Um, but when I launched, it still felt good. Uh, but the next two passes, well, you'll see.
on that one. Huh? I can't end on that one. What happened? I missed second. I, I knocked the tires off of it. It was spinning so fast, I missed second. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. at night it had cooled down quite a bit um, did the burnout it's still the both tires were spinning but it didn't feel right um, took off and it just it knocked the tires off of it I mean it's bound to happen nobody's perfect I missed second gear like a champ um, it was just the, the wheel speed I guess was was too much and I'm not used to uh, shifting through that much wheel spin uh, but I just kind of cruised down. I didn't want to beat on the car for no reason. So I just cruised through the traps at like 75 mile an hour or something. Uh, and then immediately got right back in line. I was probably going to leave after that fourth pass. It was getting kind of late. And as you'll see when I roll into the staging lanes, there is a ton of cars. Um, I want to say it was like six lanes completely full. And then the, they had an ET bracket race. That lane was like half full. Um, Outside of like the Super Chevy show back in the day that I went to, I haven't seen that many cars at, at Virginia Motorsports Park. So it was cool, um, but I was probably going to call it a night at that point, but I couldn't end on that one. So the fifth and final pass during the burnout, it's still I can hear the rear end kind of feeling like it wants to grab, not grab. Um, and it, it hooked a little bit better, but it's not hooking as good as if both rear wheels were doing the proper amount of work. Uh, so the 60 foot was 195, uh, and it went 1310 at 106.36. Uh, picked up a little bit on the mile an hour. Uh, the 1277 pass was 106.34. Uh, and the only thing I changed to that pass, actually I did it, but I changed it before the fourth pass too, is I richened it up a little bit under wide open throttle. Uh, because of the cold air intake, I don't know, I was going to try uh, throwing a little bit more fuel at it. Uh, but, but yeah, well, as it as it went down, I don't know if it made a difference. Um, and I'm, I'm going to have to look at uh, replacing the clutches in the, in the rear end. It's a slippery slope. I can spend 175 bucks or whatever for the clutch rebuild kit. Or I could upgrade everything to 31 spline axles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that a little bit. You know, with the stronger stuff I could leave a little more aggressively, which uh, is fun. Um, or if I just fix what I got, put the clutches in it, and kind of ride the clutch out, you know, that's tough on the clutch. I mean, you know, when I'm not complaining. I mean, drag racing is hard on stuff. Uh, 
but you know, with a 31 spline carrier is like $250 and the clutches to repair what I got, 28 spline, is like 175 or something. It almost feels bad just to put the clutches in it. Uh, but then if you go 31 spline carrier, you gotta do the 31 spline axles and I would, I would like to do the C-clip eliminators and be kind of done with it. Um, so I'm gonna wrestle that around a little bit, but other than that, it was a it was a great time. Um, 1277 personal best for me on motor. Um, sorry about teasing the nitrous last time and not doing it, but um, you know life happens. But that cold air intake, I'll show it to you now. It's pretty pretty sweet. And like I said earlier, the butt dyno, it, you could feel the difference. So. Uh, I was excited to to try it on motor again anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching.